Is it alive good? If not, don't be upset. I'll give you a treat. Is it bad for you? It's bad for me too. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here before. I have been just sitting here eating cake and drinking tea which Sid is a little bit jealous about but today we're doing an unboxing. I got myself a new designer bag and by the name of it you will know which bag I got but I still thought that we will unbox it together I have an enormous enormous box for it like when it came I thought wow that's obnoxious like the bag is big but it's not that big it's a huge box that's the box guys that's the box so yeah it's uh it's lada 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 Raj. Lada Raj? Rather large. So yeah, it's big and I'm excited to open it because I have been chasing this bag for a while. I have been wanting this bag for a while but it just sold out everywhere so quickly that I just couldn't get my hands on it. So I had to sign up for like a newsletter and an update from low site itself because I couldn't get it on Selfridges, couldn't get it from Harris, couldn't get it on Netaporte, um, Luisa Via Roma, I couldn't get it my Theresa, nowhere. It was just nowhere. Um, only kind of different colors or other colors. I'm gonna scooch a little bit further because I feel like we need small space for this. Sid, what do you think? This could be your bed. What do you think? Would you like to sit in the bed? Would, is this something you would like? I guess the unboxing has started. But yeah, this was a bit of a tricky one to get hands on. And uh, this is a cheap bag as far as designer bags go, but as far as a rattan woven bag goes, it's expensive. Definitely pricey for what it is. Um, but it's one of those bags that I just really, really liked from the beginning when it came out. And first I was just like, come on, I can't justify paying almost £400 for a rattan woven bag. And then the more kind of I started wearing my summer spring clothes, I realized actually this would look so, so cute with my clothes. So um, I don't often buy bags, but when I do, they are the bags that I just keep wearing over and over again. This is a little bag where the receipt comes in. This is the the attention to details as far as low goes. So this is pretty and I think that this is a really nice touch. So it's got a bag inside and you guys, it has two masks inside. Like, I mean they're weird, they kind of look like a nappy but they do have a designer logo on them. <laughs> they're quite big. Maybe this one is smaller. No, they're exactly the same size. Is this one better? This one is a little bit better. Very gapy on the sides. But this is the world we live in. This is literally the world we live in where the designer bag you buy comes with a mask. I just want to, yeah, I just want to take a second to think about that. Oh. So it says GX triple layer hygienic mask, packaging 10 units. 10 units? Where are my other 80 units? That's interesting. Huh, that is interesting, actually. Who stole my eight units? Cheeky, thank you for purchasing with us this turbulent weeks. It means a lot to us. We apologize for the delay, and as a gesture would like to have a couple of reusable hygienic masks made by artisans in our factory. Basically you can wash it 10 times. This is a unboxing video for a bag. Somehow I'm spending four minutes of this video already on masks. But yes, my designer bag arrived with masks. So I just thought it's important to know that. So yeah, this little bag is the bag for the masks. And yeah, basket bag, a natural tan. I got mine in medium. This is the size that I wanted. I thought the small was a little bit too small. I do like a bigger bag. And then the big was absolutely enormous. So I didn't want the big one. So yeah, this is the receipt. And then the possession itself is in another dust bag. And then this is the absolutely enormous box that 
I just feel like I have to reuse it for something because it's that big. So anyways, the dust bag, let's get the bag itself out. Here it is. Here is the beauty. Here is the big reveal. It looks nice. It looks great. I love the size of it. So yeah, it's all woven. There are tiny little like, not hairs, but you know, pieces of the, of the rattan that kind of poke out. But this is just what you get with any kind of open bag. So my kind of expectations of this bag are not like, oh, it's going to be perfect and it can't have any scratches. Yeah, I'm not expecting any scratches on the leather. But as far as the rattan goes, like it's a natural fabric that has its own kind of mind and it will do what it wants. So um, the leather looks really beautiful. So I went for the natural tan. They do this in a bright orange with brown straps. They do this in a white, which looks really beautiful as well. I wanted brown just because it really fits into my wardrobe. So the uh, straps here face this way, kind of the same way as they face on my uh, Amelia bag, which I really, really like as well. So like this, it's easier to carry it on your hand like that. You can change the straps and, and put them this way as well because they do uh, unclip here. So you could put them that the normal way, basically, or the way that we're used to them. The back itself is really, really roomy. It could also be a hat in a rainy day. Oh god, what a, what a lunatic I am sometimes. Anyways, very roomy, definitely lots to fit. Great um, as a beach bag, um, if you're going to that kind of fancy beach or, you know, like a beach club, maybe something like this. For me, this is a good city bag in summer as well. Uh, what I'm planning to do is put a dust bag in here that is smaller and fits well, that I can put like essentials that I want, don't want on show. And I was actually thinking as well to go to a what's it called haberdashery is that the right word i think that's the word where you get like fabrics and stuff like that and match a little leather string to the leather on this bag and feed it through the middle here just so i can close it like this this way just so i can tie it when i don't want it to be so wide obviously when you carry it on your hand you will squish it in but i just thought as an extra like precaution or etc that would be quite a good idea but i am loving it i really really like it it's simple yes it is just a basket woven bag but i wanted it and i didn't mind and i really really like it so i am really looking forward to wearing it so obviously on a hand it is like this if you will wear it that way but like i said we can try and change the strap so this just comes undone like this and then you pull it through and the same happens on the other side and you pull it through and then you can change the strap and put it this way i think i will keep it this way because i am planning to wear it on my shoulder rather than carry it on my hand um another thing i wanted to point out how can you see this bit here when i just first saw it now i was like huh that looks weird that looks like a, a mistake or you know that like that looks like it's wrong and maybe I should um, return it or you know ask for a different one well, actually I looked at all of these bags um, I looked at them in store and I looked at them from other people and I watched videos about this bag as well and pretty much everybody has some kind of variety here where the basket gets closed so you know because it, the, a woven basket goes in a circle and then you go in and you go and you go and you can't like weave it down in a circle it will always have a little bit of a rise so i don't mind it if you get bothered by things like that maybe stay away but yeah this is how it basically looks from the back so i just thought i will mention it so if you are watching this video because you're planning to buy this bag just making sure you know because i was like hmm i don't know if i like that but then i actually quite quickly got over it and didn't even pay any attention to it basically this is how it's gonna sit on the shoulder and um, this is how it looks from the bottom obviously so this is where the weaving starts um and yeah it's great i think that maybe you could even if you want it like saw in a um a little dust bag 
like this if you sort it in on the side just a little bit lower then you could have a full-on dust bag insert like this so you know there are different ways that you can make this bag work even better and i think with a little bit of diy if you're not scared of it you don't have to ruin the bag because the thing the beautiful thing about rattan is that it has holes in it so you can feed a little thread through just to attach that um that bag inside and then you can have you know more precious items in there so yeah I am really happy with it. I love it. I think it will look beautiful with some summer dresses, like, you know, linen dresses and white dresses, but also just with jeans and a white shirt and maybe a heel or a sandal. I think it's just a perfect um, size bag. And I love it. And I don't mind the fact that I've spent a penny on it. Splashed the cash, spend a coin, I'm not very good with saying so that's all i've got so thank you guys so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions at all about the bag or about i don't know the process of buying or about anything at all let me know and i will try to answer otherwise i hope you're all doing well in these crazy crazy times and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and i will see you guys very very soon in my next video bye